Hi, this is Ed with Ritchie Industries. Today we're going to discuss another customer question. Uh, had some people calling in saying they, they have a possible valve leaking issue. Um, so we're going to go through some of the troubleshooting tips that we would give to people who call in if they have this kind of a problem. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, the float and making sure that your float is oriented correctly. Some of our units it's, it's pretty tight to the side on that float. Um, you just want to make sure that that float is not hitting on a trough or hitting on a frame or something like that. If, if it does look like it's rubbing on a trough or a frame, you can, you can readjust that by turning the, uh, the valve body in the bracket and that would change that angle so you're not going to rub on the trough or on the frame. Another thing we're going to check is going to be the valve rubber. Uh, we have a video out there on YouTube already showing you how to take apart the valve, get to that valve, rub valve rubber. Um, we're going to check that for wear. Um, you can flip that valve rubber over and use the other side. If you are going to do that, it's probably a good time to think about buying some replacements so you got a spare because if you have to flip it again, you're not going to have a good side to go to. Another thing to check is uh, if there are any debris or deposits on your valve rubber. Uh, some people have hard water, some people have rust issues. Uh, a little piece of debris caught in that valve rubber and then when that gets pressed up against the seat, you can press that piece of debris into the rubber and it'll stay there and that'll create a leak path for the water. Another thing that can do is actually damage the valve seat itself. So inside your valve, there's a, a little disc-shaped seat in there, and that is what that valve rubber is actually sealing on. So uh, it's hard to see because it's inset, but if there's any kind of a dent or ding in that, that can be another cause for a valve leak. Um, another thing we check is pressure. Uh, how our valves operate is a little difficult to explain in a video, but uh, basically what happens as the water rises, our float raises, this puts pressure on our valve seat, our valve rubber to our valve seat, and that is overcoming the force that is created by the water pressure on the orifice inside the valve. Um, so as this comes up, it's going to slowly close that off to a point where your water flow is going to be very, very small. Um, there, there's a point where it's going to almost shut off, but not quite. And you're going to have some dripping. Now what that's going to do is drip until your water level can raise enough to apply enough pressure to completely shut that off. Because it's dripping so slowly, it might take a while for that to happen. Um, I've seen instances where it takes 15 to 20 minutes for it to completely stop and stop dripping. So that's, that's something to check that to make sure that you're actually having a valve leaking problem and not just normal operation of the valve where it is continuing to drip for a short period of time after it's it, where you think it might, might be closed. If, if you do find that you have a high pressure situation, we have uh, fixes for that. Um, the orifice size can make an effect on that. You might go to a smaller orifice size. Um, smaller orifice size will also lower your flow rate. We also offer a pressure regulator to uh, eliminate those high pressure situations. If you need replacement parts for your half inch valve, they're readily available at your local dealer or you can check us out at RichieFountain.com. Thank you.